Hi, Atila here. So, Tauri V2 is becoming a thing quite fast. It's getting close to stability and it's pretty fun to play with. You might have known I've been to Ryan's stream before talking about the great combo that Tauri and Solid can be. And, well, they're basically my both daily drivers. And so... <laughs> thing that I did is called Quantum and it's supposed to be like... So it's essentially a template that's gonna allow you to use uh, a solid single page application with Tailwind and then we wrap it into Atari V2 now and that allows you to build for any desktop app, Android or iOS. So let's see how fast we can get it done. So here we are in my terminal and I'm going to bring in that repository. So I'm going to use the git and I'm going to call it my app. And basically what's going to go is it's going to create a shallow copy of my repository, which is in Attila Fascina, my name and Quantum, the name of the repository. It's going to put that on my app so no git history has been brought and anything but i do have all the files that i need to so what we're gonna do now is install all the things done so now we can initialize the ios project with tari ios init and then it's gonna check everything that I have in my system, if I need, if I have everything that's needed and it's gonna create the Xcode project. Awesome. So with that done, we can also go and create the Android and it's gonna do the exact same thing. And let's move on to VS Code. So here we are in VS Code and I have the project open with three different terminal windows and we have the the whole project over here and here i already have the view app open but let's not worry about that so the first thing i want to do is start my ios development so this is gonna start the project on xcode and then uh, we can open the simulator from xcode so here we are, Xcode opened, everything ready to go, I can play, and now the build starts, we can watch the build happen, once the build's done it's gonna open my iPhone 15 Pro simulator, there we are, I can take this one out now, we let this one happen for a little bit, so it ends booting and building, let's get ready for Android. So now Android is going to build the app and so now Android is going to start the simulator while building the app and the app's building, phone's booting. Uh, there was already uh, an app running so it just said yeah I cannot do this but it's going to start anyway and it's going to work. So there we are, we have Android, we have iOS. Now let's go and build our desktop app. This one's the same as in V1. It's gonna compile the whole app and start over. And now we can even see hot module replacement happening on them. So let's say I want to... So now the phone six, let's say we want it to be, I don't know, three or five or let's replace the text Do it! and that's how easy it is to develop in this case for all three devices at the same time Whoa. with that i'll see you on the next one bye